So in this video, we have a uniform ladder of length 10 meters and weight W newtons rest with its base on a rough horizontal floor where the coefficient of friction is one third and its top against a smooth vertical wall. The ladder makes an angle theta with the horizontal where tan of theta is 1.7. A man of weight 2 W newtons starts to climb the ladder. Part A, how far up the ladder can the man climb before slipping occurs? So let's draw a diagram. Here is the wall, here is the floor, there's my ladder. Okay, so um, it's a uniform ladder of length 10 meters and weight W newtons. So the weight will act through the center. So W newtons, and this will be 5 meters, and the full length 10 meters. Um, now, the wall is smooth, so there will be a normal reaction force here, so RW, but no frictional force. Whereas the floor is rough, there will be a normal reaction force, RF, and a frictional force working to the left of FR. And we know that uh, the coefficient of friction is one third. So we'll be working with friction is equal to one third times R. F. Um, we know that tan theta is 1.7. A man of weight 2 W Newton starts to climb the ladder. So let's position him there. Now they've got a weight of 2 W Newtons. And we'll call this distance here, uh, that can be X meters. Okay, so let's start resolving forces. We'll resolve upwards first. So we've got RF, take away W, take away 2W, must be equal to zero. So the reaction, the normal reaction with the floor must be 3W Newtons. Okay, so let's resolve uh, horizontally next. We'll take to the left as positive. So FR, take away RW, must be equal to zero. So the friction must be equal to R times W. So because we know the friction is going to be one third times RF, um, that means that I could substitute, so therefore, um, the friction is going to be equal to one third times three W, and so it's just W newtons. So R W will be equal to W newtons as well. Okay, so I've got R F, I've got R W, and I've got the friction. Right, let's take moments now. So we're going to take moments, uh, let's call that point A. So taking moments about point A, we are uh, W, uh, sorry, five meters away from the W Newton force. So we'll break that up into its components. So if that angle is theta, then this angle will be theta, and that will be W uh, cosine theta. So five meters away from that, and that's going anti-clockwise. So five times W cosine theta. And we'll do the same with this force here, that's theta. So we are X meters away from the two W cosine theta, and that's going anti-clockwise. So plus X times two W cosine theta. Now, if that's theta, then this is theta. So we'll break RW into its components. And we are uh, 10 meters away from RW sine theta. And that's going in a clockwise motion. So take away 10 times RW sine theta. And that's equal to 0. So what I'll do is I'll divide through by cosine theta at this point. 
and we'll get 5w plus 2wx. Take away 10rw tan theta equals 0. Now, rw, remember, is w newtons. So, we have 5w plus 2wx take away 10 times w times tan theta was 1.7. So, this will be 17w. So, 17w, add it to the other side. Take away 5w, so we've got 12w on the other side, divided through by 2w will leave us with 6. So x would have to be 6. So the answer to part A, how far up the ladder can the man climb before slipping occurs? It will be 6 metres. OK, now, part B, find in terms of w the magnitude of the least horizontal force that must be applied to the base of the ladder to enable the man to reach the top safely. OK, so we're going to need to amend our diagram slightly now. Um, so, let's go back to redrawing the diagram. OK. So we had, sorry, W newtons working vertically downwards, okay, and that's five meters. We have our normal reaction to the wall. We have our normal reaction to the floor. We've got the frictional force, FR. Now we are also going to apply a horizontal force uh, to the base of the ladder. So we will also have another force. So we'll call that um, P. Let's call it P. I'm not using the letter P. So we'll call it P. So we'll have another force, P, working to the left. So P newtons. And we need the man to be at the top of the ladder. So uh, he will have a his weight working vertically downwards, and that will be two W newtons, like so. Okay, so I think that's everything, and that's angle theta, isn't it? Okay, so let's see what happens then. So if we resolve vertically, now some of these things will probably be the same. Uh, we've got R F take away w, take away 2w is equal to 0. So the reaction force on the floor is still equal to 3w newtons. Um, don't forget also we've got the friction is equal to one third times the normal reaction force at the floor. So that implies that the friction is going to be equal to w newtons again. OK, so that won't have changed. And if I resolve horizontally, taking to the left as positive, we've got P and the friction take away the normal reaction force to the wall is going to be equal to zero. Now, the friction here is W newtons. So we have that P is equal to RW take away the friction, so take away W newtons. OK, so now I am going to uh, take moments and again, calling that point A. So we're five metres away from the W newton force, breaking that into components where that angle is theta, so that's going anti-clockwise. So that's the same as before, 5 times w cosine theta 
Now I've got two forces being applied at this point, so um, what I'll do is I'll deal with the weight of the man first, so that's 10 metres, um, and that force is working vertically downwards, so again, I'll break it into its components, that angle is theta, and so that is plus 10 times 2w cosine theta. Then I've got the normal reaction force to the wall. That angle is theta. So this is going to be take away, because it's going clockwise, 10 times by Rw sine theta, and that's got to be equal to zero. Now, this rearrangement wasn't quite what I wanted, because now I can substitute in Rw. Rw is P plus W. So I'll substitute that in, and I'll divide through by cosine. So 5W plus 20W. Um, take away 10 times P plus W times uh, tan theta equals zero. Okay, so we've got 25W. Take away, now tan theta is 1.7, so we'll have 17 times P. And we're take, going to take away 17 lots of W as well, and that's equal to zero. So, uh, we've got 25, take away the 17, and then divide by 17. So, 8 seventeenths W. Okay, so... Find in terms of W the magnitude of the least horizontal force that must be applied to the base of the ladder to enable the man to reach the top safely. It is 8 17 W newtons.